you may have heard of the headless horse, headless train conductor before, but Chapel Hill is known for its ghostly train lights that run through the town of railroad tracks and a headless conductor and wanderers that love them in endlessly forever trying to signal a train that will never come. My name is Breezy, this is Down the Rabbit Hole, and here we talk about urban legends, paranormal activity, history, people from history, weird history, anything that has a very interesting lure, lure to it. Um, if you're near here, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Also, please subscribe, help a girl out. This is your sister podcast, a dark academia queen, true crime lounge, um, just a breezy chat, and sassy son and bell, um, and everything. So, with that being said, happy Labor Day. I hope y'all are enjoying the safe Labor Day. Um, I don't know if this episode's gonna come out on Labor Day yet, so I'm just recording it right now. <laughs> With that being said, why don't we dive into today's episode, shall we? It's gonna be a bit of a short one, and I do apologize for that. But there wasn't much I can really find on this day, urban legend. But, this urban legend happens to take place in Chapel Hill, Tennessee. And, it's, and apparently there's like a disc-shaped light along the train tracks. Now, according to folklore... A man who once fell in love on the tracks got knocked out of a decapitated and now wanders searching for the missing head. The light of a signal man who's lost his head while swinging his lantern in a failed attempt on an oncoming train and a split in the tracks. There's no other explanations for this and everything, but we do have more information for y'all though. So, the Chapel Hill ghost light is located in Chapel Hill, Tennessee, along the railroad tracks, and that it passes through the town. Now, although there's various legends attached to the light as well, known to local residents, first-hand accounts are surprisingly difficult to find online. Most descriptions are quite vague and only mentioning a light somewhere along the train tracks. One describes the light as a disc-shaped, another as a faint, and none of the sparse reports um, about colors. So it's safe to assume that the light is white. Now, there have been several like things about the Chapel Hill light focused on the urban folklore associated with it. Two of them called out very popular variations of the legend. In one, a man falls out of a train, um, or sometimes from the station, onto the tracks, knocks himself out. When the train comes by itself in the morning, it decapitates, and the man is now wanders the track, searching for his missing head. In the second one, a signal man loses his head while trying to swing in his lantern in, a light, in an attempt to warn of oncoming trains and split the tracks. So, another close version to this tale involves a brake man falling of to, falling to a plot, failing to apply the brakes before the time before the split. So, being thrown out of the of the train and ran over, all popular versions of Chapel Hill seem to involve a headless person searching for his head or carrying a lantern. As as stated in the introduction, this is a very common theme for many ghost fo folklore. Now, y'all know I love a good folklore, and I love a good urban legend, so I don't know if this is true or not. I am an Alabama native, so I love learning about different types of folklore and everything else, so... Um, if there's any folklore you want me to find very interesting that's happened in common in your area, I'm very curious. I would love to talk to you about it. I would love to do research on it. You just message me. Um, you can find all my information and everything else. Um, but this is, I know this episode was short. I do apologize. But like I said, this was a bit of a hard one to find information on. But join me next time as we go to, old, to South Pittsburgh, as we talk about the old South Pittsburgh Hospital.